do I look tired after last night? <laughs> I had a great birthday. It was good. Skinny dipping at midnight or something, wasn't it? Yeah, parted like we were 21, didn't we? We did. <laughs> Anywho, it's back to the serious stuff today. It's part two of trying to get the Greek cruising tax paid. port on the Greek island of Milos and today we are rectifying an oversight uh, in the fact that we forgot to send out our postcards, our monthly postcards to our patrons of that tier. You will be getting your postcards but they'll be a little bit late this month which means you'll get next month's nearly as close to this month's. Yeah, <laughs> sorry about that. Of course the mission means we've got to find the post office and we believe there's an information centre around here somewhere that will tell us where it is. Well, we just found out that there isn't a post office here in the main port, only courier services. The post office is about three or four kilometres away at Throvasas, I think it is. And so it might mean a bus trip there. But for the postcard situation, just down here there's a yeah. mailbox. Yeah. So we can mail your postcards and we may be taking a little bus trip. The reason why we need a post office is because we need to use a service called what? Post Restaurant. Okay, and what does that do? Uh, that means that you can have parcels delivered and they'll hold them for you until you pick them up. And the parcel we're hoping to get delivered is a couple of print copies of a book that our story has been featured in. The book is called Dream On. Yeah. You can find it on Amazon in a paperback version or Amazon Kindle in an electronic version. And how can they find that person? Amazon.com. And then they type in oh, yes. the author's surname and the entity's surname is Brambush and that will get you the book up on the search really quickly. We'll put the details down below. Meanwhile, I spot a yellow object which could be a post box. So it is Stanley. Monday, and it's a special Monday because it's the Admiral's birthday today. 21 again? Yeah. yeah. It's also money day today. It is money day today. I can't believe we've been in Greece for three months now. I know, it's good And fast. we've got to pay for another three months of the Greek cruising tax. So once again, we filled out the information online, printed out the forms that came in the email, and now we've got to go to the bank and pay the dough. To the man. To the man. <laughs> <laughs> and we're also going to uh, suss out a restaurant that's just down the coast here that we're going to um, treat the Admiral to dinner to tonight. Yeah, it's. Uh, I've been reading the reviews and it looks really good. It's it called does. Oh Hamos. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> thanks to everyone who pointed it in the right direction for that one. And also a big thanks to our patrons and um, people who bought us a beer. Yes. Because the cash that you've put forward is going to treat the Admiral to a slap-up meal with a bottle of wine tonight. Yeah, thank you. And also, Fleming, my birthday twin. Yes. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you, mate. It'll be belated when you get this, but happy birthday. Yeah. All right, let's go see the man in the bank. Piraeus Bank. So right here in the harbour is a bank and apparently you can pay the Greek cruising tax at any bank or post office. So I'm going to try this one for convenience. Well after a 35 minute wait time to be served at the cashier's desk of the bank in the harbour here, we were informed that they cannot process the payment via a credit card. 
actually the words were this summer the rules have changed and it can't be paid by credit card at which point I said well two months ago when I paid I actually used that credit card and paid for it so this summer you can use a credit card she said ah oh, but last time you paid at a post office this is a bank I don't think she knew exactly what she was doing. I don't see any reason why you can't pay with a credit card. Now here in the harbour there isn't a post office. We have to go to the next town to find the post office, which means a bus journey. Yeah, so we've got a choice basically. We either get the bus, don't know how long that will take, or we find an ATM for another bank and then draw out the cash and then go into the bank and pay. pay. cash. It's a bit late in the morning to be going to another town to the post office which may or may not close at midday. Um, so yeah. we're going to find an ATM, find some cash and then go and pay in cash. So I just grabbed 400 euros out of an ATM on the high street here and a fee for that was 2 euros 50 which is around about $4.60. The original bank that we went to uh, their ATM wouldn't accept our card. No, it wouldn't. Yeah. And we couldn't understand the instructions because they were all in Greek with no opportunity to change language. Thank you though to Eurobank ATM where we got the money. Now all we've got to do is find another bank to pay the tax. But it was my birthday and we weren't going to let the cruising tax spoil it. Early that evening we headed over to Ohamos Taverna. I'm so glad we came here and not a posh restaurant. I love this. It's so eclectic. It is. It's great. And um, also they do craft beers here. So we just ordered a couple of different ones. And we'll have some wine with our main meal. Yeah. And um, see how the craft beers are. Yeah. Yeah. Cute place. So cool. Nice yeah, place. Yeah. And the beach is just there. Yeah. And they'll serve you out at the beach as well. All right. This here. It's piglet, and you get a choice of having french fries with it or vegetables. I chose the french fries, of course. This here is baked goat. And we got this Sykonos Greek wine. We'll give that a try, see how it goes. Cheers. Cheers. Happy birthday. Thank you. And cheers and happy birthday, Fleming. Birthday twin. That was fantastic. <laughs> I'm stuffed. <laughs> yeah, I'm stuffed too. That was uh, really good. I would suggest skipping a starter, going straight for the main, yep. and holding out something for dessert. dessert. Yeah. Um, so, thank you very much to our patrons. Yes. And buyers of beer folk, you know who you are. Yeah. Um, you made that all happen. Yes. Because we, we don't eat out no. <laughs> normally. No. So, we really appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> now, we're going to get back to the dinghy before yep. we fully lose the light because we're parked in a kind of a dodgy situation yeah. where there's a few lines and there's also a. Uh, a shallow patch mm. so we're gonna try and get back to the dinghy before we lose the light so we can navigate it all yeah yeah but look lovely to me. Do I look tired after last night? <laughs> I had a great birthday. <laughs> it was good. Skinny dipping at midnight or something, wasn't it? Yeah, I parted like we were 21, didn't we? We did. <laughs> Anywho, it's, it's back to the serious stuff today. It's part two of trying to get the Greek cruising tax paid. <laughs> A 
nice ride in a very nice air-conditioned bus. Yeah. Okay. Apparently the post office is over there. So we're at the post office. That was super easy. And I was allowed to pay using my credit card. No questions, thank you very much. Put the dates in, credit card, put your pin in, watch your uncle. That's the service you expect, and that's what we got at the post office. Brilliant. Let's have a look around. Yeah, let's explore. Let's have a look around this town. <laughs> well, we did come out with a little bit more than we bargained for. <laughs> yes, we've just been into this tech store here because I saw the Cosmote sign on their door, and I was hoping to get a SIM card. And what we've come out with is um, a new um, dongle, dongle MiFi, Wi-Fi little handheld thing. It's got 50 gigabytes with it, uh, which is valid for six months. That was 89 euros. Um, he said it will be active in about two or three hours. And if we come back tomorrow, he's going to try and get that 30 euros of credit that we bought on the island of Lipsy quite some time ago added to it as well. We'll come back tomorrow and see how that goes. Yeah. So after our phone call. After our phone call, special phone, special phone call, we'll tell you all about it. Well, the internet saga has come to a conclusion, and it's a good conclusion. So much so, I'm so chuffed with myself that I'm going to crack open a beer. Cheers. We have one of these little portable Wi-Fi devices, a pocket Wi-Fi device they're called here. And we signed up with Cosmote, and we got a Cosmote data only sim to go inside the MiFi device. We also purchased uh, a 30 euro credit from a supermarket in Lipsy many many moons ago. Now I've had all sorts of problems following the instructions that come on the big printed receipt to get to the access to the web page so you can actually use the code to activate your 30 euro credit. After spending the whole morning this morning, it's now quarter past 11, chatting with someone online from Cosmote, they really couldn't help and they couldn't figure out why I couldn't access the, the web page. And then when I ended the chat, something occurred to me and I thought, hang on a second, maybe it's no good having your computer wirelessly connected to this device, you've got to physically plug the device in via USB and connect to the internet via the device through the USB port. Then when I tried the web address that was meant to be the one for activation, hey presto, it pops up and it says your phone number is, and I checked that on the back of the device and it was, and it says would you like to top up your account and I went yes please and it said how would you like to do it, credit card, PayPal or a pre-purchased um, credit. I clicked on that one and we now have our 30 euros of credit lodged with our account, lodged on our Cosmote phone number. We're good to go. And there are lots and lots of options here for topping up in various amounts for various lengths of time. I won't go into details, just suffice it to say it's finally done, it's finally fixed and we can top up as much as we want. I'm a very happy camper. Yes, now I can get on with the rest of my day. <laughs> Next week on Sailing ABC, we have a good look around a couple of places on the Greek island of Milos, and we reveal what that special phone call was all about. If you're new here, click on the subscribe button, and don't forget to click on the bell icon too, so that you get notified when future Sailing ABC videos are released. Thanks for watching. <laughs>